What is going on guys? My name is Suvajit. Welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video I am going to show you how to load images from the internet. And for this we are going to use Glide library today for processing and caching images. Anyway let's get started. Alright as you can see I have just designed the skeleton. It's pretty straightforward. We have an image view and two buttons just to get the next image or previous image. Simple. So first and foremost I'm going to include the glide library dependency. This is the official github page as it says it is a first and efficient open source library for image processing. Anyway let's scroll down a bit. Here is the dependency. So the time I am recording this video, this is the latest and greatest version. Anyway, let's copy these two lines. Now let's jump into the Android Studio again. Open build.gradle file of the module and paste anywhere inside this dependencies block. Now sync the project. Ok, now I am going to initialize this image view in our main activity class. As you can see along with on create we have extra two functions. Actually these two functions are nothing but on click listeners. Both are associated with their corresponding buttons on click attribute. See previous image function is used for the previous button and next image is used for the next button. Anyway, now I'm going to initialize this image view. ID is image view. Let's create an image view variable. Private image view. Mm, image view. Now initialize it. Image view equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view now you can call the library to load an image from the url so here i have already picked up a few google image urls let's copy an url now move on to the main activity create a string variable let's call it url equal to double quote and paste the url now simply call glide dot width now pass main activity dot this but if you are using fragment you can pass the fragments context as well now dot load and pass this variable url now simply call dot into and pass this image view variable that's it also you can call center crop center inside or fit center according to your need for now i'm calling center crop finally we need to allow internet permissions in the manifest so let's open up the manifest file now type angle bracket permissions android permission internet so if you miss this line in the manifest then glide may not load the image in our image view anyway now i'm going to build this project and let's see what we have As you can see we have successfully fetched the image from this url so not only still image but also we can load animated gif file using glide okay now i'm going to load all these images one by one so first i'm going to prepare a list which should be a string type 
private string square bracket mm, let's name it image list now inside on create image list equal to get resources dot get string array r dot array dot images also i'm going to remove this variable instead i will call image list square bracket now pass an index value so i'm going to create a variable for this private int index let's also assign zero as the initial index number now pass the index variable perfect now inside next image method first i will increment the index value index plus plus then i will check if index greater than or equal to image list dot length if it is then just reset the index value by zero now we can call the glide library like we did above here so in order to avoid code duplication i would like to place this code in a separate map function press ctrl alt m set the function name then refactor now call the method load image okay now for this previous button we have to write the exact opposite logic so first i will decrement the index value index minus minus then if index is less than or equal to minus one then just set index equal to image list dot length minus one that means the last index of the image list finally we can call load image function okay now let's test our application again let's press the next button you can see next image is loaded let's press the previous button see both the buttons are working now so i hope you got the idea that how you can use glide library for loading images from the internet thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me here on the daily coding tutorial channel if you have any questions or suggestions then please let me know in the comment section and if you feel this video helped you a little bit then hit the like button share with your friends and of course do subscribe for more content thanks again for watching guys see you soon in the next one